This week I received a copy of the BFI's Blu-ray of Night in the City. This ravishing film noir was savaged by UK critics upon its first release in 1950, mainly because of its depiction of London as a breeding ground for all sorts of low-life criminal activity. Sounds good to me. When Channel 4 started in the UK in the 1980s, they ran a very long season of film noirs and I was immediately captivated by both the emotional danger and the visual aesthetics. They showed me the melancholy and the mystery of a morally ambiguous universe. It was heady stuff for an impressionable teenager and ignited my lifelong passion for the genre. There was one key scene in the season trailer that stuck in my head, a man is escaping from pursuers and trapped in the headlights of a car. This was a clip from Night in the City, filmed in London in 1949 by American director Jules Dassin. Dassin was also on the run. Daryl F. Zanuck, the head of 20th Century Fox Studios, had told Dassin to take the directing job and get out of Hollywood because Dassin was going to be named as a communist at a House on American Activities Committee hearing. On the plane over to England, Dassin read Joe Isinger's script, based very loosely on Gerald Kirsch's 1938 novel, which had low-life pimp Harry Fabian as the protagonist of the movie. To make a villain the central figure of a Hollywood movie was dangerous and subversive. After Tony Soprano, Nucky Thompson and Walter White, it now seems commonplace for an evil man to be the leading character of a TV series, but in 1950 it was a real shock for Hollywood studio to build a film around a lowlife. Harry Fabian was played by Richard Widmark, who made an electric debut in 1947 as despicable Tommy Udo in Kiss of Death. In that film he pushes a woman in a wheelchair down the stairs and won a Golden Globe and an Oscar nomination for his trouble. For Night in the City, Widmark had to do two things almost every night. He had to run and he had to sweat. In later life, he described it as the toughest shoot he ever undertook. All you need to know about Fabian is that he wants to make money by whatever means are at his disposal. We see how he lures unsuspecting visitors to high-priced, low-life nightclubs. We see him persuade, cajole and blackmail with his enthusiastic charm. But Fabian is a minnow among sharks, and he is soon swallowed whole. Although in the final scene Fabian attempts to redeem himself with girlfriend Mary, played by Jean Tierney, you know that Harry is just trying another angle to get himself out of trouble. By this time, even Harry knows that he cannot escape his fate. The style, the performances and the attitude of Night in the City fueled my love for all things noir, so when the BFI asked me to contribute an audio commentary, I was happy to help. The film is presented in a new 4K restoration. Also on the disc, for the first time in 65 years, we can see the UK version of the film in a 2K restoration. This is a different cut with different music and is the version that so incensed UK critics. The disc also includes audio commentaries on both versions and interviews with both Jules Dessin and Richard Widmark. A low-life setting, a great set of secondary characters, especially nightclub hostess Googie Withers and Greco-Roman wrestler Stanislaw Sibisko, a mesmeric lead performance and life and death struggles in the crumbling rules of post-war London, what's not to like? Night in the City, released by the BFI and Blu-ray, is on sale now. <laughs>